I all Karthik here from Design School by WPA Algorithm. In this video, we'll discuss a new module of Jet Engine that lets you show or hide any WordPress sections, columns, or even widgets in Elementor interface called Dynamic Visibility. Now, Dynamic Content Plugin already offers this, and I think Jet Engine is trying to compete with Dynamic Content Plugin. And if you have the latest version of Jet Engine, click on Jet Engine. Click on modules and make sure you select this dynamic visibility option and click on save. And once you do, you can apply or you can find the dynamic visibility option in Elementor interface. So, if you are new to Jet Engine, you can check out the beginner's guide that I put out in the crop block playlist. I have a custom post type created with Jet Engine called recipes from the previous video, and we have a field group. For recipes called recipe group I'll just click on that and if I open that you can see it has few fields it has a time field which is of type time it has ingredients which is Wiswig or WordPress editor and then we have a select menu we have a gallery we have a number which is calories and we have something called facts that's great now I've opened the post or the recipe Chinese Manchurian 1243 and I've added some data so I've entered some data for calories I've entered some data for this with this data I'll show you how the dynamic content or dynamic visibility works in jet engine so once you have the module activated in the jet engine side you can refresh the page or open a new page and you can click on any section column or a widget for example, if I click on this widget, which is a dynamic field widget, and if I go to advanced and under here, you find dynamic visibility. Now I can simply toggle this on, and you have an option to either show the element or hide the element based on a condition, and it can be a single condition or multiple conditions. We'll say just hide the element if the condition is met. And I'll click on this option and when you click on conditions you have few options so these are basically used when you have a token or when you're using or comparing few values so for instance we have few custom fields here right so you can compare the value of difficulty and if the value and I think it has three options so if it's beginner only then you can basically show something or hide something or whatever right so I'll click on this and I'll change the condition and I'll show these ingredients only when the calories is greater than so I'll select greater than and the field you can click on the dynamics tag and this is basically supplied by jet engine itself I don't have Elementor Pro if you have Elementor Pro you'll find the dynamic tags of Elementor Pro as well, but I just have Jet Engine on the site and Elementor free version. So you can see it offers few things. Like I'll select custom field, and once you pick custom field, it lets you choose the field. I'll say calories, which is a number. Now I'll compare this to a value, and if the calorie is greater than 100, I'll just hide this element, right? And this data type change this from care which is basically a array so it's just like comparing two words so i'll change it to numeric so that the value is compared so calories value is taken from this field and then it's compared to the value that you want so once you once it compares it will hide the element right since this has 120 calories this whole ingredient should be hidden because 120 is greater than 100 that's the condition we just specified I'll reload this page we'll see what happens and as you can see I applied this dynamic condition visibility to the recipe design template which is the single recipe template that I designed with jet theme core again you can check out the jet engine beginners guide in that we clearly showed how to do that so I said if the value of calorie field is greater than 100 then just hide these ingredients field and when you open the post 
which is Chinese Chinese Manchurian one two four three recipe. That particular thing is hidden. Now let's change the calorie value here and let's see what happens. I'll enter ninety here and I'll update this post. So this post is updated. So now the calorie value in this is ninety. So it's not greater than hundred. Technically, the ingredient should be shown. I'll just refresh this page again, which is basically the recipe, and just like that, it's shown. Because we said hide it if calorie value is more than hundred, but since calorie value is ninety here, it's clearly hidden. That's really neat. Now you can pick another dynamic option. So instead of calorie value, you can click on custom field, and you can pick basically difficulty. So if difficulty is not equal to beginner, or if difficulty is not equal to hard. Let's see what are the values that we have. It's hard, medium, and beginner. So I'll hide it if difficulty is not hard. Let's see that. So I'll change the value to hard, and I think that's more than enough. So if difficulty is not hard, then hide this element. Update this dynamic condition again in the recipe design template. Let's update this whole post type. Reload the post type, and once the page reloads, just like that. The ingredients is hidden because we said if difficulty is not hard, then hide it. You can see that difficulty is beginner level, and that's the reason why it's hidden, which is really neat. So you can apply dynamic conditions. You can do and and or. You can have multiple conditions. Let's try multiple conditions. I'll click on another condition. So show the element. I'll change this to show the element. If the difficulty is not hard, and if calorie is greater than hundred. And I'll just change the second condition to greater than. Field should be again. I'll pick from custom field, and the field is calories, and the value should be greater than hundred. So only show this if the difficulty is not hard and if the calorie value is greater than hundred. Right? We set multiple conditions, and we set the relation to and. So this condition will be applied. So this element will be shown only when both of the conditions are true. If any one of them is false, this won't be shown. So I set the condition to and. We have ninety calories and we have difficulty level as beginner. So difficulty is not hard. So that's true. But calories is ninety calories. So technically the ingredients will be hidden. I'll just reload this page again, and it's hidden because. We set an and condition, and the and condition says calories should be greater than ten hundred, and also difficulty should not be. Now, if I change the calorie value from ninety to one twenty again, I'll update. Now let's reload this custom post type, and you'll find back just like that because the calorie is greater than hundred, and difficulty is not hard. Now, if I change the difficulty back to hard, again that will be hidden. So I'll pick hard from here. So I'll pick hard from here, and I'll update it. Let's refresh this page. Hard, but difficulty is hard. But this condition is satisfied, and this condition is not satisfied, and that's why it's hidden. If you pick or, it will be applied when either of the conditions is true. At least one of the conditions is true. Both can be true. One can be true, and that's how the dynamic visibility. Applies for each element. Now, other than the values defined by the custom fields, you can also pick other tokens such as user fields. So you can use custom image. You can use image from option. Options are basically again created using dynamic field, or you can use user field. So you can have a email or nickname compared to a particular value. And then you can apply a particular logic. Let's change the condition to user logged in. So hide the element when user is logged in, right? I just change it to hide the element when the user is logged in. So since I'm logged in, you can see that here. If I reload this page, that should be hidden because I'm logged in, and it's hidden. Now if I say 
show if condition is met and if I change it to user logged in that will be shown just like that it's shown so that's really neat so that's how this whole dynamic condition module works in jet engine and you can choose which option should be applied so equals not equals greater than exists contain doesn't contain if you have a switcher custom field or meta field in your jet engine meta box you can also use that as a way to enable or disable or toggle an element so you can compare it to user role user id and based on the type of page so you have many options and that's really neat but if you change it to general topics then it will ask you to pick the field that it should be compared to otherwise it's plain condition right you can enter the value here right it's that simple but when you pick a general condition you have to pick the field and also the value and that's how the condition is compared and based on the output the visibility is decided so that is dynamic condition visibility in jet engine it's basically a part of the recent update if you don't see it go to jet engine and make sure you enable it in the modules tab and that's how it works you can apply it to any section column or a widget so you can go to advanced tab of any section column or even a widget if i click on the section click on advanced you can see dynamic visibility even here i don't have the elementor pro on this side so all i'm using is a croc block set so that's how you do it if you don't have croc block you can get it from the link in the description that's it for now i'll catch you in the next one peace